Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Mesa Public Schools Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Brianna, and I'll be your facilitator. Before we get started, just a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash greater Arizona. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, Wellesley College. Hi, everyone. Let me share my screen for you all. Awesome. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. My name is Natalie Figueroa. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm an assistant director of admission at Wellesley College up in the greater Boston, Massachusetts area. So the educational foundation that Wellesley provides as a premier liberal arts and sciences college for women stems from the belief that confident and educated women are the most powerful engine for social change. There we go. We were founded in 1870 as an act of rebellion against social norms that at the time excluded women from accessing higher education. Not only did we prove what we could do at the time when the rest of society did not believe in our potential, but also Wellesley continues to demonstrate and expand the understanding and idea of what women can and will do to make a difference in the world. Now, before continuing, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge that Wellesley is built on land that was part of the original territory of the Massachusetts people. We honor and respect the enduring relationship between the Native American peoples and this land. Wellesley sits on a 500 acre campus located just 12 miles outside of Boston. And this beautiful location combines the serenity of a lakeside suburban campus with access to one of the largest college cities in the world. Our location and proximity to Boston allows us to take advantage of four historic partnerships with Olin College of Engineering, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology or MIT, Babson and Brandeis. This allows students to cross register for classes and participate in extracurricular activities across all four institutions. We are a small college with a student body community of about a little over 2,300 students with representation from all over the US and the world. Wellesley is one of the most diverse residential college campuses in the United States. And we believe that diversity is essential to the educational experience and is really committed to fostering an environment where all students can thrive. And one of the ways in which we achieve our diversity is by dedicating resources to financial aid and affordability. We are need blind for US citizens and permanent residents and meet 100% of calculated need for all admitted students. And especially recognizing that terms like need blind admission and meeting 100% calculated need are hard to decipher for many families. To this end, a Wellesley economics professor developed a tool called My Intuition in 2013 to address these confusing terms. Since then, more than 60 additional colleges and universities have adopted the tool to help simplify a family's ability to get a quick, customized estimate of what it will cost them to send their student to receive a Wellesley education. Regarding our academic program, Wellesley students enjoy a broad and flexible liberal arts curriculum that nurtures their, their curiosity in a collaborative learning environment. Our class sizes are small, 18 students on average, and this encourages students to be curious, ask those questions, engage in discussion and developing your voice. Wellesley packs the vast research opportunities and state-of-the-art technology that you would typically find at large research universities, but we deliver them all in an environment 100% dedicated to undergraduate women. This allows for hands-on learning experiences, research, internships, student faculty collaborations. It's all an essential part of a Wellesley education. And this hands-on and collaborative education leads to powerful outcomes. Wellesley students are two to three times more likely than their peers at co-ed institutions to major in male-dominated fields such as STEM or economics. 
and we have sent more women to graduate school to earn advanced degrees than any other liberal arts institution in the United States. At Wellesley, our faculty are dedicated to learn teaching as they are to mentoring. And one of our key goals at Wellesley, which is distinctive from many other institutions, is to address the gender leadership gap. Research suggests that a key way to address this leadership gap is for young women to witness inaction and work alongside a more diverse range of female role models. So we present such role models to our students. 60% of tenure faculty are women and 24% of faculty identify as people of color. This means that Wellesley students can really see themselves in their faculty and the diverse women on campus who hold leadership positions. And to that point, we recognize that learning happens in everything that you do in and outside of the classroom. So Wellesley offers over 160 study abroad programs, number of funded internships and research opportunities as early as your first year, 160 student run organizations and 13 division three sports teams. Through every opportunity, students get the chance to nurture curiosity and practice leadership in every realm of the classroom. All of your experience, you know, experiences, social, academic, pre-professional, culminate in a well-rounded education and lead to some of the impressive career-related outcomes that you see even listed on this slide. Wellesley is known for having a long history of developing young women as leaders across a variety of different fields and helping students develop their voice and their leadership style and understanding that it's not about prominence or power, but about service. And like any skill such as leadership, we believe that it requires patience and practice. You're not born a leader, you develop into one. And this mentality and this commitment to an exploratory, hands-on, service-driven and leadership-focused education is why Wellesley's alumni network is widely known as one of the most powerful women's network in the world. So if you're excited about what you've heard, I encourage you to stay in touch. You'll receive more information from me, but thank you so much for your time and I'll hand it back over to Brianna. Thank you so much, Natalie. Next we'll hear from Fisher College. All right, let me share my screen. So we're at Fisher College, we're located in the back bay of Boston. Uh, this is me, I'm Dylan Driscoll, I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions over at Fisher College. This is my email address, um, as well as my phone number to my office phone, um, if you would like to reach me. Oh. It's the video, but uh, I'm not gonna get into the video right now, but we do offer tours Monday through Saturday, uh, eight to 3 p.m. And actually a cool thing about us, what we're doing right now is that we're actually giving a $1,000 award to anybody that does decide to take a tour with us and a meet with an admissions counselor. Um, Fisher College uh, as like a whole, uh, we are a, a smaller school, we're right under a thousand undergrads. Um, we're about a 14 to one professor to student ratio, uh, which is, you know, develops a really hands-on learning, really personalized learning, uh, knowing your professors, knowing, um, their cell phone number, their contact information, office hours, so you can really get that one-on-one -on -one attention. Uh, we have students coming from 35 countries and 30 states. We have a 20% international um, student population. Uh, we have an internship program. We have a two internship minimum. So basically you take one when you're a sophomore and you take a much larger one when you're a senior, which is great because you're in the middle of Boston, center of Boston. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunity in there to um, get an internship um, and really uh, get some work experience. Uh, we have a great uh, academic support team. Uh, career services is outstanding, as well as senior advising uh, writing center that actually includes professional tutors. Uh, we have uh, 26 undergraduate programs and four master's programs. Our master's program is actually very brand new. Um, it is a four plus one program, which is awesome. Um, coming from somebody that took a master's program that had to go to a different school and took it three years to do. Um, this is basically you go for four years, you get your bachelor's, you stay for that one extra year and you actually get your master's degree as well. So you leave um, in five years with your bachelor's as well as your master's. Some of our bigger programs are criminal justice, psychology, management, and our hardest program um, with our highest GPA is actually biology. 
Uh, these are some of the internships that we've granted students in the past. Um, obviously, we live um, in the area of a lot of Boston sports teams like the Red Sox and the Patriots and the Bruins, um, which we have had kids intern there. Uh, we've had a girl intern at Quantico before with the FBI, with our criminal justice department. Uh, we've had people do duck boats. We've had people do uh, Franklin Park Zoo. We've had kind of people all over the place. Like I said, we're in the middle of Boston, which provides a lot of opportunity um, to gain some work experience um, in, in the center of Boston. In our athletic department, we are NAIA, uh, which is a little bit different from NCAA. Um, it, in NCAA standards, it's actually Division II. Um, basically, the big differences between the two is that we travel a lot more. Um, our, our students go play down in Texas. They play in Florida. Uh, they kind of play all over the map, uh, which is really cool. You play a little bit more games. I think you play five to ten more games a season. Um, as well, you're, more, you're allowed more practice time. So if you are a fall athlete, you actually get to practice in the spring with your coaches, with your team, uh, which is a huge advantage. Our admissions process. Uh, so we are open right now. We are on the Common App, um, as well as our website, free to apply. Uh, what we need from you uh, is we would need your letter recommendations. Uh, we need your unofficial transcripts. And we are test optional unless you are a bio major. If you are a bio major, we will require your SATs. Uh, but if not, you can send them to us, but uh, we, we certainly take a look, but they are not uh, required. Um, yeah, so like I just said, we are on the Common App for free online as well, so we just need your transcripts. Um, we'll give you a decision actually within 24 to 48 hours as well um, if you are a transfer student, which is really cool. Uh, we uh, provide a plethora of different scholarships. Our biggest scholarship is our presidential scholarship, which is basically, it is from 10 to $22,000. Um, it's based off merit. So it's basically your GPA. So if you're in that three, five to three, nine range, you're looking at that top 18 to 22 re range. Um, but if you're in that two to 2.3, you will still get a scholarship. It's probably more around the eight to 10, but everybody will be getting a scholarship. We also do different scholarships for our honors program, as well as our on-campus scholarship. Um, to really bring that price down from 54,000 to get it more into that range that is competitive with the state schools in our area. Right now, um, it, it is, uh, if you uh, got accepted, uh, basically you connect with me, um, I would be your admissions counselor. Uh, your FAFSA just opened October 1st, you fill that out, you put it in our school code, which is 002150. Uh, you check your personalized website for next steps. Uh, and we actually have an open house coming up on November 7th, which is a Sunday. It's actually only two hours. And um, the same deal that I actually offered earlier in the session, um, it's a $1,000 award if you do come. And it's about two hours long. You ask some questions, you get to see campus, and you actually get that $1,000 if you want to come to our school. Um, and May 1st is our decision time. Uh, so that's when we would need you to make a decision if you want to enroll. Uh, how do you visit? Um, we, so we are on... We are open from eight to eight to three, Monday through Saturday. I encourage you definitely come on a Saturday. I think you get a little bit better feel for the campus, not as many kids around, um, kind of get to meet with admissions counselor a little bit more relaxed that day. Um, we are online if you just go on and you, it's a, a link online. Um, if you just go on and sign up, you'll be able to meet with one of us as well as get a tour of the school. Um, make sure you can follow us on Instagram at Fisher College as well as Twitter. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dylan. Next, we will hear from American International College. Hi, all. My name is Erica. I am an undergraduate admissions counselor here with American International College. You can kind of see a little bit of our uh, campus behind me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my, my screen with you all. And I will also go ahead and share this link uh, for your reference and for your uh, safekeeping here at the end. Um, but American International College, we are located in the heart of New England. Um, we've heard from a few schools um, kind of in the Massachusetts area. We are located in Western Massachusetts, so we are uh, 30 minutes north of Hartford. We're about an hour and 15 minutes from Boston uh, and about an hour and 15 or an hour and 20 minutes from Providence. So we're kind of in a nice 
um, center point uh, in, in New England there. Um, so our admissions process is relatively easy. We only require the official high school transcript. We are test optional, so we will not require your SAT or ACT test scores for any of our programs. Um, letters of recommendation and um, personal statements are encouraged. So if you do have um, a coach or a professor, or, or I'm sorry, an English teacher or a math teacher, history, anyone who wants to brag a little bit about you, please let them. Um, and then if you want to give a little more insight into why you're interested in the program you're interested in, what you hope to accomplish after you graduate, a personal statement is uh, a great um, area to, to go ahead and um, include that. Now we are what's called rolling admissions. So we do not actually have a deadline. So if we don't, uh, if we're not able to re review you for one start, you are able to go ahead and um, get started the next semester. So we are available on the Common App and the um, application from our website as well. All of the links in this um, virtual pamphlet are interactive to um, give you, you can follow along with that coinciding information. Now we here uh, at American International College, we are a liberal arts college, um, but we're very heavily based in the health sciences as well. So exercise science, nursing, occupational therapy and physical therapy are the only programs that will require a little bit of a higher GPA. Our general admissions requirements are, um, general admission is a 2.0. So, and again, only your transcripts will be used to determine that. Um, now, once you get into, like I said, the health sciences, that bumps up a little bit. So exercise science is a 2.7. Nursing at this point is actually a 2.8. Uh, and then we will require a chemistry course with a C plus or higher. Um, occupational therapy will be a 2.8 and physical therapy is a 3.2. So um, occupational therapy and physical therapy um, those programs, as you can see there, um, have a direct admit to postgraduate work. We're one of the only colleges in the area that do offer this. So if you are a student interested in health sciences and interested in being in the Western Massachusetts, New England area, we are a great opportunity for you. Um, so uh, nursing, uh, occupational therapy and, and physical therapy, um, require, like I said, a little bit of that higher GPA, a 2.8, a 3.2 for physical therapy. Now, it, it is not an end-all be-all if you don't meet the admissions requirements initially. Uh, you are able to, um, you know, work on bumping up your GPA your freshman and sophomore year and potentially transferring into an, the nursing program or exercise pro, uh, science or any of the health science programs and working with your academic advisor. Um, to kind of guide you along and make that happen. Transfer credits, um, we do accept AP and IB courses. I know students, um, you know, typically like to take as many of those credits as they can in um, high school and then um, transfer those uh, advanced credits. And so we, we will review your transcripts for potential transfer. This here is a list of a few of the programs that we do offer. Like I said, liberal arts, so psychology, criminal justice, um, liberal studies and anything in between, um, visual and digital arts theater. If you were to click again, these um, coinciding links, they take you to the ex expansive list. We do offer minors. Students are able to double major and add on a minor. Um, again, something you work along with your um, academic advisor to plan out that course map and what that would look like. Um, we offer pre-professional programs like pre-law and pre-med as well. That link will take you to more information. Um, we do offer support services for students. Again, this will these coinciding links um, will take you to that corresponding um, information like our writing center, peer tutoring, um, and services like that. So living on campus, a little bit about what it would be like to be a student. So we have, um, we are a smaller school. Our undergraduate class as a whole is about 1300 students. So 50% uh, or just a little over 53% of our students do identify as um, black indigenous or people of color. So we are a diverse demographic. 
Um, like I said, a little fun fact on um, our location, we are the home of uh, and birthplace of basketball. So we actually do have the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame here. Um, students like to, um, you know, take a little more interest in that. And, you know, we'll get visited by basketball stars when we do the um, Hall of Fame enshrinements every other year. Um, financial aid, we are, um, we offer merit-based scholarships based on your GPA. Um, the higher the GPA, the higher the award. So the highest being 22,000 at a 3.45 GPA, that um, is divided between the two semester for two semesters between the fall and spring. And we always encourage students to um, complete the FAST and I think every school here with you today would encourage that as well. Um, for more information, you can contact our um, email address directly and our phone number here. And I will also, again, include this link um, here into the chat and in my um, direct email. Thank you so much, Erica. Next, you will hear from Smith College. Hi, everyone. My name is Cheryl Thomas. Um, I am an alumna of Smith College, and I am the president of the Smith College Club here in Phoenix, as well as the admissions coordinator. So let me just share my screen with you. Smith College is located in Northampton, Massachusetts. We are an all women's college, and we are dedicated to education of women. Three days ago, Smith announced that it will eliminate loans from its financial aid packages beginning in fall of 2022 and will replace them with grants from the college. That means no loans. To help ease the financial burden of attending Smith as well as not having that financial burden when you graduate from Smith. Why Smith? Well, Women are the focus of all the attention, all the opportunities. At Smith, all the leaders are women. At Smith, any a career choice is appropriate. And we have an ageless women's network, one of the strongest um, in the countries. So after Smith, your future is wide open. On to academics. Smith has more than 2,100 undergraduates. We have a nine to one student faculty ratio, over a thousand courses with an open curriculum. That means there are no core courses. So when you start as a freshman, you can take any class that you want and you can personalize your experience. Smith is part of the five college consortium, which includes Amherst, Hampshire, Mount Holyoke, and the University of Massachusetts Amherst. This means that you get five colleges for the price of one. As a student in the five college system, you can choose from more than 5,000 undergraduate course offerings a year. Uh, there are many collaborative academic programs, um, such as architecture, uh, marine biology, um, that you can participate in. Living at Smith. Smith is very unique because all the students live in houses. Uh, there are 41 houses in, ranging in style from modern to Gothic to classic revival. Depending on which house you're in, you can have either 10 to 100 other people living with you. All the houses are self-governing. So when you join a house, you vote for who is the president, vice president, et cetera. Dining. As I said, everyone lives in a house. That means there are dining rooms in all the houses. Nine of these houses have residential kitchens that always offer a vegetarian or a vegan option. There are hot meals available 15 hours a day. Um, you can go online and check to see what the menu is for each of those nine houses because the menus will be different. Um, so you can have dinner in one house and have dessert in another. Smith is located in Northampton. Um, we are about two hours from Boston and three hours from New York. Northampton is a wonderful, wonderful town. Lots of um, music clubs, galleries, great food, great coffee. Um, I would particularly would recommend you going to Harold's Ice Cream, which is quite famous. Um, 
And uh, as a Smithy, you will find that you go there quite frequently. <laughs> Uh, regarding our libraries, museums, and gardens, um, our campus was designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, who you may know um, designed um, Central Park in New York City. The center of our campus is Nielsen Library. Nielsen just underwent a complete renovation and redesign by Maya Lin. Um, it just opened this year. What is so wonderful now about Nielsen is that it contains all of our archives, all of our special collections, but it is completely up to date on how people study. All of that, it will be available to you. Remember also, as part of that five college consortium, you have access to the other four colleges and all of their resources. Onto some Smith success. Earning careers in networking, you have access to over 48,000 alumni, alumna, excuse me, in more than 120 countries. So you can imagine if you're interested in, say, something like growing coffee, there is a Smithy there who is willing to talk to you about that. Regarding uh, internships, um, there are, let's see. Um, uh, there's a total of 38,000 internships, jobs, volunteer opportunities, and fellowships that are posted in the Smith uh, database. If you find an internship that is unpaid, you can receive a Praxis grant, which will give you up to $3,000 to support that unpaid internship. Smith has won over 188 Fulbright scholarships over the last 12 years, which is more than any liberal arts college in the US. 42% of Smith alumni within two years go on to uh, some type of graduate study. Um, the top five that they go to are Columbia, New York, Harvard, Smith, and Boston. Some traditions. Um, one of the most important is Mountain Day. Um, a random day is chosen by the president uh, during autumn at 7 a.m. The bells are rung and that means classes are canceled and you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Another one is Julia Child's Day, which it's all about the food. We um, get to enjoy recipes by Julia Child on that day. Again, my name is Cheryl Thomas. I'm a graduate, 1990, president and alumni admissions coordinator for the Phoenix area. And my email address is there. Please, if you have any questions, contact me. And if you are interested in a women's education, I really, really encourage you not only to look at Smith, but look at Wellesley and look at some of the other seven sisters. You might find a fit for yourself. And that would be wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Uh, next, we will hear from Ramapo College. All right, thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Let me go ahead and present my screen. Just give me one moment. All righty, uh, so my name is Kerry. I'm an admissions counselor at Ramapo College. I am also a alumna of Ramapo as well too. So a little bit about Ramapo College. We are a medium-sized liberal arts college located in Northern New Jersey. So we're right on the border of New York and we're also only about 45 minutes from New York City. We have about 6,000 total uh, graduate, I'm sorry, total students located uh, on the campus with about 5,600 undergraduate students. Since we are a smaller school compared to other New Jersey State Colleges, we do have small class sizes also a smaller student to faculty ratio with 16 to one. So as I mentioned, small class sizes, only about 21 students, uh, largest about 35. So there's no lecture halls uh, on campus. So you're always gonna know your professor and they're always gonna know you. So you really get that individualized attention inside the classroom. We're also test optional. So it is not required to submit your standardized test score. It is only required for our articulated programs that I will mention in a few slides. Uh, so as I mentioned, small class sizes, you have direct access to faculty members, and then we also have a 74% graduation rate compared to the 56% national average, as well as an 88% retention rate. So that means that students that do come to Ramapo College want to stay at Ramapo. 
Also, 87% of graduates that uh, graduate from Ramapo College are either employed or in grad school post-graduation. So a little bit about the programs that we offer. We do have five academic schools on campus. We have an Annisfield School of Business, School of Contemporary Arts, Humanities and Global Studies, Social Science and Human Services, as well as a School of Theoretical and Applied Science. So within all these five academic schools, we have over 100 different majors, minors, and concentrations to choose from. Some of the most popular programs include marketing, management, communications, uh, political science, psychology, education, as well as biology and nursing. We do have a really excellent nursing program. It is extremely competitive, but we do uh, have a direct admit program. So that means if you are accepted, you are guaranteed a clinical seat. So among these programs, we also have multiple four plus one options. That means that you can obtain your bachelor's degree and your master's degree within only five years. So these four plus one programs include accounting, business administration, creative music technology, data science, social work, as well as elementary education. So I mentioned earlier that we are test optional. However, it is required for joint programs. So we do have articulated programs with outside institutions. So these include programs with Lake Erie College of Medicine, SUNY Optometry, uh, Toro College, Rutgers, as well as Seton Hall, who is also with us tonight too. Uh, so with Seton Hall, we do have a articulated uh, law program. You can study law and society or political science to obtain your JD. So within these programs, we also offer internships. So we have over 1,000 different internship opportunities for all of our majors specifically located in New York City, also in the surrounding Mawa area. However, we have so many offered in New York City because we're only about 45 minutes away. So some information about how students get involved on campus. Uh, we do have over 160 different clubs and organizations. We also have Greek life, community service uh, opportunities, leadership programs. We are a division three athletic school. So we have 18 division three athletic teams. Also, uh, if you don't wanna play on a division level, we have competitive club sports as well as intramural sports. So there are opportunities to study abroad. We actually have over 500 programs in over 60 different countries. And these programs range from one week uh, to one year. And then we also have internship opportunities abroad as well too. So these programs are specifically tailored to your major and you can work with our Rukima Center uh, to determine which program is best for you. Also, we do have the number one dorms in New Jersey. We don't really like calling them dorms because they're more like residence halls. They're all suite style. So that means that there are no communal bathrooms on campus and they're all about a three minute walk to the academic complex. So it's really easy to apply to Ramapo. We accept the Common App, the Ramapo College application or the Coalition App. Some information about deadlines. Uh, we have three admission types. We have early decision, which is binding. That deadline is November 1st. Early action, which is non-binding. That deadline is December 15th. Also important to note that it is also the priority deadline for nursing applicants and biology applicants, as well as the priority deadline for merit-based scholarship consideration. And I'll talk about that in the, uh, the next slide. And then the last admission type, regular decision, that deadline is February 1st. So do know that the sooner that you apply, the sooner that you will receive your decision released. So cost, uh, typically for an out-of-state student, it's about 24,600 per year. And then if you're living on campus, uh, which if you're coming from Arizona, you most likely will, unless you have family in the area, it's about 15,400 per year. However, for out-of-state students, we do offer a $6,000 housing grant that's automatic. So you automatically receive that grant uh, and it makes your housing meal cost about 9,400 instead of the 15,400. I mentioned scholarship. We have merit-based scholarship. We offer a presidential and a dean's. Presidential is full tuition and fees up to four years and a dean's scholarship is about 7,500, uh, again, up to four years. These are both very competitive scholarships. Uh, we not only look at your GPA, which you need to have about a 3.7 uh, in order to be considered, but we also look to see how you're involved in the community, whether you do have any leadership skills, uh, and then we also consider your essay and letters of recommendation. So if you are accepted and you do decide to enroll at Ramapo, we also offer over 400 scholarship opportunities for, for continuing students. So these scholarships come from our Ramapo College Foundation, and you can apply to as many as you like, as long as you're qualified. 
So we are hosting in-person campus tours uh, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. as well as select Saturdays. Uh, you can connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. And then we also have video tours online if you're not able to make it to campus. So again, my name is Kerry. I'm your admissions counselor. I'm also an alumna of the college. Uh, as I mentioned, we're located in New Jersey, right in Northern New Jersey on the border of New York State, and we're right next to the Ramapo Mountains. So it's nice because we're in a suburban town, but the campus itself is set pretty remotely. Uh, so I'll hand it back over. Thank you so much, Kerry. Um, and last but not least, we have Seton Hall University. Good evening. Thank you so much for having us. I will go ahead and share my screen as well. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Celeste Mabea. I am an assistant director of admissions at Seton Hall University. I am currently filling in for Gina Wright, who will be the assistant director for the Southwest region. Um, I will be sure to include all of her contact information at the end of the slide so you can reach out to her if you have any questions. Seton Hall University is one of the country's leading Catholic um, universities, and we have been developing students since 1856 to be home for the mind, heart, and the spirit. We currently have just over 6,000 undergraduate students and about 4,000 students on our campus. All students from 50 states are represented, as well as students from over 70 countries as well. We do like to focus a lot on personal attention, so you will see our class sizes um, are fairly small. It's about 21 students, as well as our students faculty ratio is about 14 to 1 um, with a high diversity rate. We do offer over 90 majors and programs on our campus. Um, they're very rigorous and they have been singled out um, for being this for distinction by several reputable organizations. Um, students have been gone on to be Rhodes and Fulbright Marshall Scholars, prominent, um, prominent researchers, award-winning authors, and so on and so forth. There are nine colleges listed on the bottom right, as you can see. In addition to our wonderful undergraduate majors, um, students can apply to over 30 dual degree programs, which are pathways that take them straight through their master's or doctor degree program by saving them time and money. A few popular options include our three plus three law plus law, law program, um, which you can do with either business, political science, social work, religion, or diplomacy and international relations. We also have five health sciences options, including physical therapy, athletic training, occupational therapy, physician assistant, and speech language pathology. We also do have a three plus two programs in business and diplomacy and our joint medical program that guarantees students an interview with Hackensack Meridian School of Health. Um, and also 25% of their seats are reserved specifically for Seton Hall students. We are located in the quaint suburb of South Orange, which is about 14 miles away from New York City, um, about an hour away from like the beaches and the mountains, but only a few minutes from a hiking trail. So you'll there's plenty to do outdoors while also still enjoying the balance of having a city life nearby. Seeing how students are graduating on time and finding employment very soon upon graduation. Our employment rate is 93% um, within six months of graduation. However, our schools of nursing, uh, business, communications, diplomacy, um, health and medical sciences, and education have employment rates ranging from 95 to 100% within six months of graduation. This is meaningful employment, which means that students are acquiring jobs in their field of study. Our employment success can be attributed to the opportunities that Seton Hall students have access to on our campus. We are big on hands-on learning, which is why we have been, in, we are encouraged students to begin research opportunities and internships as early as their freshman year. We have over 17,000 17, paid and unpaid internships available to our students. Um, and each student is paired with a team of four advisors, which the career advisor will hand them a list of internship connect connections that we have within their field of interest, help them write their resume. Um, we have students who can practice for interviews, keep them informed on married career workshops. We are actually ranked fourth in the nation for providing internships to students um, and really work well to make sure students are not just learning within the classroom, but they are gaining outside experience as well. 
Seton Hall students um, tend to be very involved in the classroom in one of more ways. We also have students who are involved just in the student services field. We have over 150 clubs and organizations, club, um, clubs and intramural sports and Greek life. We also have the number one leadership program in the country, which comes with personal mentorship, leadership coaching and weekly development. Uh, development seminars. Being Division I in athletics, we are in the Big East Conference and we have over 14 highly competitive athletic teams. Um, students do receive the benefits of small class sizes and close relationships with their professors, but they're also able to enjoy all of the wonderful college traditions and school spirit that, being with, that come with being in a D1 school. The average student is doing either two or more internships, also involved in two or more clubs. Um, and there are over 150 to choose from. So anything from our student government to WSOU, which is our college radio station, which has been ranked number one in the country. Our model UN team um, includes Shuna, who ranked 12th in the nation last year. Our esports team, who won the Big East um, Championship for League of Legends in 2020. The Brownson Speech and Debate team, who have won thousands of awards competing all around the country, Pirate TV, and also our many newspapers on campus. Additionally, about 50% of our student population is either doing participating in one uh, or more club or intramural sports. And then we also have 20 to 25 to 30 um, percent of our students participating in Greek life as well. Here is a list of our deadlines. If you're feeling pretty confident about your application, I encourage you to apply to be either early action one or early action two, as our special scholarship deadline is January 15th, placing it priority to our regular decision deadlines. This would also give you the opportunity to move on to the leadership program application if you're invited to apply and also the honors program application if you are interested. Seeing Hall is test optional until the fall of 2026 and students will be considered Considered for merit-based awards regardless of whether they submit their test scores. The only program that still requires you submit your test scores are the joint MD program and any major within the College of Education and Human Services. We are on Common App and we also have our own in-house application. Both are completely fine. We would be happy to provide you with an application fee waiver to waive the $55 application fee. Um, so for attending today's presentation, feel free to reach out to Gina or myself to ask for a waiver to cover your application application and be sure that you mentioned that you joined us today. As I mentioned earlier, um, I will. I am covering Far Southwest Region Director. I have put her contact information on the slide. She'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have, and you are welcome to follow up with her via email or phone to request an appointment. Uh, we do wish you all the best wishes as you approach the college search and application process and go Pirates. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much, Celestine. Um, if all of our reps want to just turn on their cameras really quick, I will ask just uh, one question for all of our attendees. Um, so if you could just share quickly, what is just one thing you want students to remember about your campus? Natalie, you're up first. Ooh, all righty. I would definitely say, um, the best of both worlds. You have the combination of a lakeside suburban campus with access to Boston and Cambridge and a wide net of even more college students. Um, so best of both worlds. All right, um, Dylan, I think you're up next in the same order you presented. Um. I would say that, you know, we're right in the center of Boston, right in the middle of Boston, you, have, you know, you're never going to run out of things to do in the middle of Boston, as well as um, tremendous opportunity. Um, you also live on Beacon Street um, in these historic millionaire uh, brownstone mansions, which is really cool. Um, that's something that's, you know, very unique to us and uh, something that uh, as an 18 year old college student, uh, very few people get to experience. Hi. Um, well, with American International College, you are really kind of in in the heart of New England. So we're right in the center of, you know, where Connecticut is a border state, New Hampshire and Vermont are right above us. Boston is not too far. Um, New York isn't even that far of a drive. So I think just being in the heart of New England, um, but then also having 
um, the feel of not being in a small town, but not being in, in, a, in a big city either, where you, it's a very homey campus where you walk around and you really, the odds of you running into five you know, to 10 people that you know are, are very likely. Great, Cheryl. I don't even have to hesitate. It is our residential program. We all live in houses. We all have dining rooms. Um, many of the houses have kitchens. It's such a homey atmosphere that I still consider my time at Smith as if it was a second home. Um, I am still friends with the people I lived with, and not just for my year, but um, all the years, and I'm still in touch with them. So I think it establishes, it encourages this very kind of tight relationship among women and encourages them and supports them. Thank you, Katie. So I would say our sense of community on campus. Uh, you know, we're a medium-sized school. So we have about 6,000 students, but when you start from the admissions process, through the advising process, through your classes, through graduation, you're always a name and you're never a number of Ramapo. Um, I definitely would echo some of the same sentiments, um, getting the best of both worlds. Um, like I said, you kind of have the suburban area of South Orange, but then if you want more lively entertainment, you can also go into the city um, and also the sense of community that we do have at Seton Hall. Um, you definitely feel as if people really do care about your future, starting with the class size of getting to know your professors and also understanding the times that we're in where you need inside classroom academics, but also outside classroom in, um, experience. And we definitely like to focus a lot on that at Seton Hall. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link with a really quick five question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. We do encourage you to check back the schedule and sign up for more sessions. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all the other recordings at strivescan.com slash greater Arizona. Thanks so much.